we've we have to look at a phenomena called primary water stress corrosion cracking. That can crack our J groove welds that are made out of alloy 600 and our nozzle material that's also made of an alloy 600 material. And what that has caused is that caused the situations of replacing a lot of the heads throughout the industry. We at Palisades have decided that we can economically go a much longer period and in doing so we need to inspect for a longer period of time. So we needed the flexibility to look at our nozzles. Our nozzles aren't just straight pieces of nozzle or of piping material, but they actually have tapers and you've got weld warpage and all sorts of things that you've got to you've got to deal with so you get a good inspection. We have about two and a half hours in our schedule for each one of the nozzles. Um, we've got to look at our vent line nozzles and we've got to look at our ICI nozzles and we've got to look at our CD CRDM nozzles. That totals 54 nozzles that we have to look at. The vent line and the ICIs take a little bit longer because they're a little bit more intricate design. The CRDMs though we have to knock out in about every two and a half hours. So we actually look all the way through the nozzle material and we actually have to differentiate by the information that is available between the contact of the nozzle material and the reactor vessel head, the carbon steel material, so we don't run into a situation, so we understand if we've got a leak path that is in the J groove weld that basically takes the nozzle and attaches it to the head so we don't have a leakage path. Since we've gone to the gimbaled head, we have not had to put people under the head. And uh, actually, we've not had to put people under the head since 2007. So ever since I've had the project, we've been able to come up with techniques to remove the robot, remove the, the uh, gimbaled head or the probes so we can actually make sure that uh, you know we don't pick up this huge amount of dose. As you well know, our head is extremely hot underneath of the uh, underneath where you don't have any shielding in front of you. There is a lot of benefits that are used. We're actually it's being considered to be used at the on Davis Bessie as we speak. Um, they are there's a there's a huge issue that as most of most everybody knows there's a huge issue with uh, a relatively short. Term, uh, short term cracking that has occurred there. There's a lot of industry focus on that right now. One of the recommendations is to actually use the technology that we've come up with to help them better identify what they've, what they actually have, where, where they're actually at right now so they can evaluate do they need to do, you know, a handful of repairs or do they need to do repairs on their whole, their whole head. We've always, we, the Areva Palisades team, have always pushed each other to say, hey, what about today? But what about tomorrow? You know, what about the future? And that's, that's where we've always, we've always pushed ourselves. Uh, you know, it's really been a team effort. It's really, w each one of us pushes the other one to be better. And I think that's, that's where this whole, that's why, that's, that's why we're here accepting this award at this uh, assembly is that we just, uh, you know, we, we forced each other to get better.